Show me your man bun. My hair? Yeah, back, back. I want to take a reference. Actually, I want to try this. Shit. <laughs> That's too... <laughs> too, too many. <laughs> Feel the pressure now. What do you think if I do the same hairstyle as you? So excited. So excited. This is the moment. The moment where the hopes and dreams begin. Let's see what's inside. Just oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, now we can talk. <laughs> Fresh hair. It's been so long. It's been so long since I'm, since I'm really talking to myself. Really, ah, oh, man, oh man, where should I start? I'm just kind of freestyling, you know. And now we can talk. Ha ha ha! I cut it by myself. Not bad at all, huh? Now I know, I know, I've been lagging behind. I know, I've been letting all of you guys down. <laughs> It's been like a month ago since I last uploaded my last video. Just kind of cleansing my mind a little bit, finding motivation. It's good to take a break sometimes just to figure out clearer direction that I don't want to stop filming, I don't want to stop vlogging and I, I would just I would just keep going and yeah, yeah, it's good to take a little break sometimes and uh, everything figures out. Got a new camera as you can see. Yo, what's up? It's pretty hyped. Don't need to flop with my shitty GoPro anymore, you know? Got the Sony A6400. Pretty hyped about it. I just feel that immense energy to uh, vlog something today because I don't know. Some days it's just, it's just clicks and um, I feel like today is the day. Today is the day to do something and uh, I should really. Um, start doing it. Right now I'm not in Sydney anymore. The last time you saw me is probably I'm, I was still in Sydney but due to that um, Sydney has no jobs right now and by no jobs I mean the demand exceeds the supply by way much. Like, too many backpackers got stuck in Sydney. You saw on the Facebook groups like for example I saw in Seek like uh, just a normal receptionist I applied and usually Seek will send you the email saying that you are unsuccessful and the email it will illustrate that um, how many people actually applied to that job and just a normal receptionist job got 200 people applying for it holy shit how am I supposed to get a job in Sydney so that's why I bought a car drove to Wagga Wagga and uh, 
about the work in meat processing factory. I'll, I'll leave it on the next video, like I'll dive deep down into that. But um, right now, I would just tell you that it is not going great. Like, as you could probably imagine, there are none of the jobs inside that are easy. There won't be easy jobs for backpackers. That's why people come and leave, just keep going like a cycle. So there must be a reason behind why um, they keep recruiting people and people going. Because the job nature is, um, is tough, it's tough, you know. Here we go! New camera! Here we go! Wow! Hmm... Finally, I'm gonna start vlogging today and back at it again! Pretty excited! How are you feeling? Yeah! What time is it now? 10... 10 a.m.? Hmm... No? I'm hungry! Okay, please, cook some breakfast for me. And I'm just so happy to have bought this camera. Got the flip screen. Not sure how long will I stay in this factory, but gonna save up some money. Wait till the Australia border open, which soonest will be year end or next year. It wouldn't be soon. Wouldn't be soon. So right now I'll just buy this camera. Save money. Try to get familiar with it. Hopefully I'm gonna prepare for the best when I got the chance to get outside of Australia and just make travel videos and that's it. Hey. 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 Yay! Today I just felt like um, it's a good opportunity to vlog something because uh, barbecue on a rainy day. Let's go! Hello! We've got this BBQ going on, organized by our, uh, our company. <laughs> okay, <laughs> We're auto focus. Oh, look at the BBQ. Ooh. Hey, it's a nice day. Do you like your job? <laughs> you wanna take a picture together? Sure. One, two, three. It's a video. <laughs> they invited 75 backpackers from all around the world. One of the best things about working in new factory is that they have literally like 800 plus people coming over from 50 different countries. From countries that you never heard of like Samoa, Papua New Guinea, Ethiopia, literally everywhere. How is it? Now it's just two of us. Yay. Finish our barbecue. It was uh, it was not bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we ate the meat from uh, from our company. Started out rainy, but now you see the Yay. sun. Whoa. So we just decided to uh, to go to a botanic garden and uh, check it out. Apparently, it's a uh, good weather. Nothing can go wrong. Yeah. And. Uh, Maybe it's a baby. Oh, they know the food is coming. They already know. <laughs> yes. Damn. New Pokemon found. We'll catch them all. 
He asked if I could stay a while. Look at that. I'm living that high life. Chuka chuka chuka. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Been a lady that echoes playing to and fro. To and fro. Back and forth, yeah. Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway. Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah. Tell me how you feel feeling when you hear the lyric, yeah. My heart's in stock. You, 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 you. Now I never want to go home. Chicken can basically eat everything. Look. There are watermelons! And broccoli! Broccoli? <laughs> Damn, they eat better food than us. You are coming home. Okay, so here we are. Back at our new apartment here. My little workspace, a nice table set up, nice coffee, some greens. The video quality on this camera is just amazing. Look, mm. look at the autofocus. Ah, so let that sink in. Got important stuff to cover. The reason why I want to make this updated video, there are quite important changes in my life. So as you guys might know, um, the situation in Hong Kong now is uh, pretty traumatic and um, it's not looking good on an international level. So what I'm referring to is uh, Hong Kong security law, um, which is already in place. If you guys saw the news, it's, uh, it's pretty much everywhere now. So a lot have been going on these days. So like some countries have been cancelling agreements with Hong Kong because they see the danger that the new security law implied and some other countries are offering help to Hong Kongers, offering pathway to permanent residency or looking for work or looking for to live in their countries, including UK, Australia. I'm not sure about the US. Trump has been talking about he will think about it. Yeah, so that's probably one of the reasons why I want to sit down and talk about stuff as well. Prime Minister in Australia, Scott Morrison, um, has recently made an uh, important announcement, a pathway to become a PR and then citizenship, and then so on. So what I'm talking about is this. So for existing temporary work visa holders, student visa holders, and graduate student visa holders, uh, they could be here for five years. Five years. Uh, and that is an extension from their existing arrangements that they would have now. Some of them would be some way into their current visa. So basically, as you can see, uh, Scott Morrison has just said that I have five more years in Australia, simply put. Uh, which is tough, because there are so many countries out there that I want to travel to, but uh, now, I don't know. I don't know, should I settle in Australia or not? I just, I just don't. That's crazy, you know? This one year, one and a half years, I've been constantly thinking about should I get second year visa, third year visa, as, as with the same cases with all the backpackers. They, once they come to Australia, they want to do farm work, they want to secure their 88 days um, in order to uh, stay second year or third year, even third year in Australia, which, uh, which requires you to do six months essential works which is really tough but now once the prime minister said that i don't even need to care about second year or third year visa anymore automatically eligible for that five year visas which is huge which really alter my future plans because as you might know i really want to travel to as many countries as possible um to meet different person to experience different culture and stuff but now pathway to residency which is really tempting to me i mean obviously it's happy to get this chance to explore this beautiful country to settle down in here but um it's at the same time when 
when the place that you used to call home, you couldn't count on it, you couldn't call home anymore. It's tough, it's tough. I don't know if you could feel it, but imagine your hometown, you couldn't call it home anymore. And um, it's crazy how things could change, really, within a short time frame, within a one year's time. That's why I always think to myself, um, it's, it's always good to leave flexibility on your future plans. Like, there's, there's not much point or perfection when it comes to plan, especially for us backpackers, go with my gut and that's it. But yeah, at this stage, I will just uh, continue bettering my videos and stuff, um, getting ready for Australian border to reopen and then I'll just travel the fuck out and go to surrounding countries like Indonesia, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Fiji. Sri Lanka is top of my list actually for now. I just wanna... I just want to travel and make travel videos and live a lifestyle that I uh, I dream about for years and just film stuff, meet people and that's it. So damn, I'm psyched. I'm psyched that I got a new camera. I'm psyched that uh, I got many things to line up. I got many things waiting for me to create and uh, yeah, I hope you guys um, still stick around and follow my journey. It's been a while, it's been a while, I know, it's been a while, it's been a month since I do videos and stuff, but it's, it's, I think it's, it's good that I took a break and we, we figure out what's important in my life and uh, yeah.